Hi, this is CPW. Uh, this is just a quick uh, video, another IntelliJ video. Uh, going to quickly walk through a couple of tasks that people keep getting tripped up on. And uh, really, they are very, very straightforward. Uh, the first task is going to be, let's set up a project from version control. So lots of projects out there that are already checked into GitHub and you might want to take them check them out so you can do stuff with them whatever you want to do anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to go to github and we are going to do i have jei in here where's jei there it is so i'm going to check out jei it's a message project just because why not it's a good project to demonstrate with uh, not every project can be checked out like this. A good one to note that won't check out like this is uh, Pahimar's uh, Equivalent Exchange Free. Um, he's done some custom behavior in his uh, build script, which means that it's not compatible with this. But for the large majority of projects that use Forge Gradle, this just works. So let's clone JEI. Bang. There we go. Okay, we're going to be asked, yes, we want to check out from version control. Would you like to create an idea project? Oh, yes, definitely. So we're going to click yes. Now, normally this will be selected, create project from existing sources, but we don't want to do that because we already have Gradle project in here. So we want to import project from that Gradle model. So we select import project from external model and Gradle in the list here. Okay, next. Everything else in this screen here should be left as default. Use default Gradle wrapper recommended. Don't worry about auto import. Don't worry about create directory for empty content routes. That can be useful, but normally I wouldn't worry about it. Definitely make sure this is ticked to create separate module per source set. Needs to be ticked, okay? Uh, you'll need to have a JVM um, installed. I have lots because I have lots. Um, and project format always dot idea. Never use anything else. Okay, finish. Now, idea is going to go and it's going to look at the build script. It's going to have a think a minute and it's going to make a guess at what the project looks like. Uh, for Forge Gradle, it actually does a pretty decent job, as I've discussed before. So we're going to be asked about uh, VCS, uh, whatever. I'm just going to ignore it. You probably want to add that if you were actually trying to track, track stuff, but I don't really worry about that. So anyway, we've got a project here. We can look at the actual project structure. So we've got just the one Just Enough Items main. If we go and look at the project structure here, we would actually see that there are three modules here, API, main, and test. API is empty, and that's why it's not showing up in the list there. Uh, test is empty, and that's why it's not showing up in the list there. Main is the one that's got all the code in it. Okay, so we have now got a basic project into here. Okay, so our first task is to go find the Forge Gradle. So I clicked here. See, we've got the Gradle tab over here. I clicked on it, and this flyout came out. Okay, and I'm navigating down through Tasks, Forge Gradle. And what we want to do is we want to set up Decomp Workspace. So we're going to create a task for this because you're going to run this a lot. Um, so set up Decomp Workspace is something you want to do a lot. Okay, so we go in here. I'm going to tick the single instance only box because you don't want to run lots of these. You only want to run the one at a time. Single instance only. VM options, I'm going to give it 4 gigabytes. X, MX, 4G, well, it's X, MS, 4G. Uh, minimum amount to give is 2 gigabytes, as I've discussed before in other videos. Uh, and we are done. Okay, so we now have a task up here in our run window here. Okay, let's... Uh, set up decomp workspace it's now going to go and decompile uh minecraft as it always does so we can sit here for a couple of minutes and i can hum some light music at you
Come on, finish. It's nearly there now. <sighs> yeah, so decompile's running for 50 seconds, uh, and then it'll be done. 51. You're going to make a liar of me, aren't you, decompile? Aren't you? <sighs> you let me down, decompile. You let me down. <sighs> Oh, that's actually taking quite a long time. It shouldn't take quite this long normally. Why are you running so slowly? Oh, no, it's finished. One minute, 11 seconds. Why Why it's being truculent, I don't know. Probably because I'm capturing. Anyway, um, so the decompile task is almost complete now. Uh, as soon as it's done, I'll uh, do some nonsense. Uh, remap. Recompile. I'll take a couple of seconds. Uh, this video is very typical of how long it takes to decompile, around about two minutes. My machine is not bleeding edge, it's an i3-770K. Um, more modern machines will be a little bit faster. Uh, a lot of this stuff will be cached after the first run. Uh, JEI is actually a poor example for that because uh, JEI will probably force a recompile every a re de uh, decompile every time because it has um, access transformers in it, 80s. Anyway, so we're done. Okay, we now have a decompiled workspace. Uh, now, last task that we need to do before we are ready to roll here. Uh, if we go and look, we don't have any runs. There's no run tasks in here. They're completely empty. That's not great. So what we actually need to do is run this task, Gen IntelliJ Runs. We only need to run it once, and it's going to give us a funny little warning. Watch. There it is. Okay, don't worry about this. This is noise. It's because basically the IntelliJ uh, stuff doesn't like the fact that what's happened is is that under the covers, Gradle has replaced most of the project artifacts, which is kind of rubbish, really. Uh, the uh, the Gradle stuff is really out of date, and they don't recommend we use it anymore, but we need to do this task to get the run configurations that we want. So we absolutely have to do this one time. We never need to do this again. Okay, this is it. It will never need to be done again for this particular workspace. Yes, okay, so what you just saw there, the way that it flickers away, that's what it always does. It's because it's resetting and reloading the entire project structure. So now if we look, we can see that we've got two new run tasks here. We've got Minecraft client and Minecraft server. Yay. Now, they're both broken. Notice the little X. Notice the fact that Gradle start can't be found. Uh, the reason that is, is because it's got the wrong class path here. Use class path of module. We need to fix that. We need to point it at main. Uh, and same for this one, main. Okay. So we apply that. Let's make sure I fixed it there. Yes. Okay. It still can't find them. And the reason is, is that we now need to do this. And refresh the Gradle project. What this is doing is it's now forcing the um, IntelliJ code that uh, sort of meshes in with Gradle to go and rebuild its model of what the project looks like. And when it's complete, now Gradle will be, uh, IntelliJ will be able to see all of the decompiled artifacts that we generated from the Forge Gradle code. Which means that, yay, everything works. So it's compiling, it's running. And it's running, as you can see. So uh, that's uh, step one complete. Uh, we now have gone through how to uh, set up a workspace from scratch from a source code checkout. Not every project is compatible with this. I wish they were all compatible with this, but uh, they're not all perfect. So let's just go and prove that we have JEI. Yep. 
Yes, we do. <laughs> this is actually a broken version of Forge. This was the very first Forge version of Forge for 110 that was released. And it's got this annoying bug where the uh, inventory instantly closes. <laughs> but as you can see on the right, flashing away there, maybe, uh, is that uh, JI is there. It's just that Forge is broken. And welcome to part two of the video. So we previously checked out uh, Gradle, uh, JEI in Gradle, uh, in IntelliJ, using the Gradle plugin capabilities of, of uh, IntelliJ. So now what we're going to do is we're going to update Forge. Now, um, what we need to do is we need to uh, change the version that Vert Minecraft task has here. OK, so here we can see Minecraft task okay now this is JEI JEI is using variables for these things which is great that's excellent so we need to go and find where this is defined now because of the way that Gradle works I happen to know that this is probably being loaded by a properties file and in fact it's probably going to be Gradle properties and there it is so forge version is 12.18.0.1981.1.10.0 okay that is the version that we just saw so we need to update that. We need it to go to 1996 because that's the latest version. We're three away from partying like it's 1999. Yay. Uh, anyway, so there we go. We've updated the properties, which means that this version string should now be correct. It will be 110 and it will be 12.18.1996. That is the most recent version of, Grey, of uh, Forge. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to do the following. We need to set up the comp workspace. Here, shall I sing again for you? making these videos you know it's the one and a half minutes of monotone singing I have to do <sighs> so anyway as soon as we've done this we are pretty much ready to go so um, this is how you update your project to newer versions of Forge you don't need to do anything else okay everything else should be uh, everything else should happen automatically uh, you don't need to reconfigure these you don't need to reconfigure anything else. It is simply a matter of rerunning setup decomp workspace. You always have to do that. Uh, and what we need to do now is we need to go and click this magic button right here. Refresh the Gradle project. When you run setup decomp workspace, you probably need to refresh the project. Uh, that is a recommended strategy. When you uh, set up refresh afterwards you could probably actually couple the two things together in the J and the IntelliJ config but anyway so you saw down here it ran a task for a few seconds uh, that's it uh, running a Gradle build I believe it is um, to gather the uh, new build structure and if we go back over to the Minecraft client now everything's updated 
and we should now be running with 1996. Yes, there it is. <coughs> so, that's all you need to do. Um, let's load up the guild and verify that now we don't have a broken interface. There's cheese. Yay. <laughs> okay, we are we are now working and as you can see we can see everything. AI works lovely because Jay's nice. J I is nice. Okay. And with that I conclude this video. Have a good evening. <laughs>